time for Cannabis Talk 101 with Blue, Joe Brunding, and Mark and Craig Wasserman, the Pot Brothers in Law. Take a hit, get lit, and sit back and enjoy Cannabis Talk 101. Mark and Craig, the Pot Brothers at Law, Blue, yep. and Big Joe Grande is Hola here pues. to go green. I am, and before we go green, I just want to welcome uh, Andy and Christian. Welcome to the crew, you guys. Thank you very much for being here. We have two new interns that are joining us, and uh, you know what? It's a privilege to have you guys in an honor, so thank you guys for coming aboard Cannabis Talk 101 yes. and riding with us. And that being said, I definitely want to say a big thank you to Erica, Abel, Daniel, Cal, Tomsa Quinn, Irtaza, Pitt, Chris Franquino, Jennifer, and Elvis. Thank you guys all for everything that you do to make this show so great. And before I read this, Blue, you know what time it is, right? Dime time. Dime time. Make sure you guys check out Dime, guys. They have an amazing product for you. And I'll tell you what, G4 Live Bud Tenders Award Woo! is going down at Resorts World. And that's going to be October, I'm sorry, May 12th through the 14th, guys, in Las Vegas. Again, that's Resort World. Uh, May 12th through the 14th Turpine Warehouse Budman Stews 420 Expressions will be there Cali Effects will be there Connector is going to be releasing Their new product line Coming up here at MJ BizCon Right around the corner And Viscous Vapes Live the ride guys It's going down It's Cannabis Talk 101 Joe let us know who's going green Cannabis sales in Canada Hit $309.7 million in April While well, Michigan sales dip in May as the price drops, so cannabis sales in cannabis, excuse me, cannabis sales in cannabis, yeah. cannabis sales in Sounds Canada. Like me. Are you having trust? Right? Yeah, exactly, right? The Canada cannabis sales hit a three hundred nine point seven million dollars. This was uh, in April. Three hundred nine. That's such such money. So the two hundred fifty one point seven million dollars in the last April they had, representing a three point eight increase compared to March, and a seventy three point six from year over year spike. So you guys. How well did they do a year ago? 73.6% jump. Can you imagine having a year jump like that in sales? Yeah, Of any company that you have or wherever you work at? That's huge. This is according to new data from the Statistics Canada. So after kicking off 2021 with two consecutive sequential declines of 6%, Canadian cannabis sales are back on track, having climbed 14% in March, followed by a slight increase in April, According to the High Free IQ, a data analytics provider, May sales are expected to rise by 1% compared to April's and a 69% year over year. The May sales reports and expected uh, are the May sales report is expected on July 23rd. So God willing, we can see all these and keep reporting these as these come down. The bottom line, when you look at these things and I hear these things, I go, wow, Canada is going higher. We're going higher. Certain states keep peaking, especially when you think, oh, my God, what's going on? The COVID, the this, the that, the droughts. The this. No, cannabis still keeps climbing. Also, mm. Michigan cannabis sales slightly down in May as the prices plunge. So cannabis sales um, in the home state of Michigan totaled $148.9 million in May, dropping by 3% month over month. According to the Michigan Marijuana Regulatory Agency, medical cannabis sales declined 1.5% year over year and 8% to 44.5 million, while recreational sales dropped by 1% sequentially to 104.4 million, representing a 165.6 increase compared to the same month of 2020. So as I say this and you heard dropping 1%, it's still an increase overall from the years. So. Don't look at it from month to month saying, oh, they're going down. Yeah, but from last year, they're still climbing. So, you know what I mean? It's still going up. The adult use market is growing more rapidly with flower and trim sales accounting for 58% of the market in May, up from 56 in January and February, and unchanged from the previous two months. Well, you know why they say trim sales? Because of the flower? Well, no, the trim actually, you know, equates into a lot of the, uh, uh, the, <laughs> the, the vapes, you know, so the oh right because they're just looking at the flower only. Well, the they trim take sales. they take the trim and then they 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 um, turn it into crude and then the crude turns into uh, oil and then they make the oils to put into all these vape pens that everyone's smoking edibles, too and edibles everything vapes, else and everything else. Yeah, so I don't know why <laughs> my my mind went blank there, but uh, you know, it's just it's interesting it. to see still how much money they're making and you know what it's. 
going to be great as New York is still trying to open up all kinds of things. They can allow the three ounces, like we mentioned. You can fly in there, and they're also getting some more tourism money out there in New York because they're allowing people to literally smoke in all the smoking areas. You know, it, it's 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 interesting to see that New York has taken that stance because of all places. They just you know, leapfrogged everybody. And of all places, I mean, New York has had such a crime uh, to, to have any kind of cannabis on you for so many years. And finally, you know, they, they, they lift the ban and they start to, you know, the state gets on board and then they say, hey, if you could smoke a cigarette, you could smoke weed there. Cannabis, go. And, and that's just a huge, huge, you know, jump for them. I mean, no, nobody has allowed. Right now in Vegas, the only place you could smoke cannabis is in um, your, your residence. Yeah, you and know, you know, of course, you smell it everywhere on the blocks up uh, there. But and, but but at the same time, it's not the legal. Casinos, no. The, but yet, you can go right out front and buy it on the strip, but you can't smoke it anywhere. But cookies is killing it on the strip there too. Oh, don't don't get and it Planet twisted. Thirteen is killing it there. Yeah. Those sales are just through uh, the roof. They, they have some of the biggest sales in the world. I think it was literally. Uh, yeah, they li- literally li- have Planet biggest sales in the world. Pl- Planet Thirteen, uh, and if you haven't visited, you know, I, I I would suggest when you do. You know, shoot into uh, Vegas. Go check out Planet 13. It's going to be just an amazing thing for you to go It's deal. definitely a sight to see. I'm Joe Grande. That's your Go Green Moment. It's Cannabis Talk 101. And remember this. Yes, sir. If no one else loves you, we, we do. do.